Next is the National Book Award for Translated Literature. It was the first award added in over two decades and the Translated Literature Award as a global perspective, honoring books from all over the world that are published here in the United States. And now the National Book Award for Translated Literature. The news these days may remind us that we are living in a fractured world. The finalists for the National Book Award for Translated Literature make clear that this is a shared planet this award recognizes exceptional books translated into English. And the 2020 finalists are translated from Arabic, German, Japanese, Spanish, and Swedish. These extraordinary books consider the fragility of love, the violence of abuse, and the effects of the past on the present. Each makes a decisive case for a global literature and the value of perspectives that reach beyond national borders. The panel chair for this year's National Book Award for Translated Literature is Denal Mengestu, a 2012 MacArthur Fellow and author of three novels, including All Our Names. This year, in this long and difficult year, I couldn't have been more fortunate than to have served on this jury with four remarkable readers, writers, scholars, activists, artists. To my fellow judges, Heather Cleary, John Darnell, Brad Johnson, and Ishii, thank you for your brilliance, for your generosity, warmth, for the vigorous and passionate debates, for the humor, and of course, for the friendship. Over the course of seven months, my fellow judges and I had the distinct pleasure of selfishly and miraculously escaping our isolated pockets through the hard-earned miracle of stories that had been meticulously translated into English from more than a dozen languages. In a moment of profound uncertainty and isolation, each novel, story, and essay that we encountered brought us back to an obvious but easily overlooked fact. The world is remarkable and each act of translation bears witness to that. The five books that made our shortlist this year are as intimate as they are expansive, political as they are personal. They are marvels of form and language brought home to us through the dedicated work of extraordinary translators who are stitching word by word, line by line, our fragmented world back together. The five finalists for the National Book Award in Translation are High as the Water Rises by Anya Katman, translated by Anne Poston and published by Catapult Books. The Family Clause by Jonas Hassan Kamiri, translated by Alice Menzies and published by FSG. Tokyo Ueno Station by Yu Miri, translated by Morgan Giles and published by Riverhead Books. The Bitch by Pilar Quintana, translated by Lisa Dillman and published by World Editions. Minor Detail by Adanya Shibley, translated by Elizabeth Jacquet and published by New Directions. And this year's National Book Award for Translated Literature goes to Yu Miri for Tokyo Ueno Station, by, translated by Morgan Giles and published by Riverhead Books. Yu Miri, Tokyo Ueno Station, translated from the Japanese by Morgan Giles. Riverhead Books, an imprint of Penguin Random House. This deft translation by Morgan Giles of Korean-Japanese writer Yu Miri's Tokyo Ueno Station is a welcome and necessary addition to the translated Japanese canon, which unfolds in the memories of a deceased narrator occupying the eponymous train station. The book is an observation of Japan at the gateway of its capital, at multiple thresholds of shifting eras told in the bardo of a mourning father and compatriot, reciting his surroundings and circumstances as if a prayer, a mantra. I am very surprised. Congratulations.
挨拶をしてミニスタンスお願いしますうん、挨拶はい、uh, I am so happy Morgan Jail translated Tokyo Ueno Station into English It is a shame that we can't be together on stage right now. I'd like to give her a high five and a hug. Hug. I live in Minami Soma, Fukushima, Japan. I live in the former exclusion zone, 16 kilometers from the nuclear plant. That exploded in March 2011. And I ran a bookstore and write. The main character of Tokyo Ueno Station is a man from Minami Soma. And the speech is mostly written in this region dialect. Not standard Japanese. It is a very difficult work to translate. And Tokyo Ueno Station is the first novel that Morgan translated. I want to sing her praises. There is so much I would like to say. And so many people. I would like to thank Bat Morgan. Thank you. Finally, I would like to share this joy with the people of Minami Soma who are on a path of hardship after the earthquake, tsunami. And nuclear disaster. This is for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is、uh, unbelievable. I could not have imagined、uh, three years ago when I started translating this novel that it would win the National Book Award for Translated Literature. Uh, there are so many people that I have to thank.、Uh, first, I would like to thank Laura and Glory at Riverhead for helping put this book out in America and making this happen. But before that, I need to thank Deborah Smith, Saba Ahmed, and everyone at Tilted Axis for believing in the book in the first place. I need to thank my parents for always. Believing in me and encouraging me, and my husband Sean for supporting me to the point of moving to Japan with me. But most importantly of all, I have to thank you, Miri, for trusting me, a first time translator with her very precious novel. Miri san, honyaku saste itadaite, makoto ni arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much for letting me translate your beautiful novel. Thank you also to the people of Fukushima for being so gracious and helping me. This is truly unbelievable. Thank you. <laughs> 